Hey guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing Morning Glories issue 15, so let's see what's going on here. Let's talk about the cover first. I really enjoyed the cover because it does have Zoe on the cover and she is the main focus in this issue. There are two characters that are, I guess, the main characters in this issue is Hunter and Zoe, but really it is mainly Zoe and about her past. So I'm very happy that they showed her on the cover and that they didn't mislead us. And I also really like the art for it. It's very, uh, I always like the realistic art. It looks very realistic. It, the coloring is very light. I always like that type of art. That kind of like Francis Manipal art, kind of very light coloring and everything. The only thing I didn't like about the cover is that Zoe has kind of big eyes in this issue. Uh, I don't know, that's just uh, really the only complaint I had about this cover. But other than that, I really like the cover. And let's see if I like the story also. Alright, let's see. In the beginning of this issue, we get to see the murder that Zoe committed. And we found out about this murder in issue 7. And uh, this was the murder one year ago before Morning Glory's Academy. So we get to learn a little bit more about that in the aftermath of that. And in this issue, we get to see a lot of that. And we also get to see in the present time of this wood run that's been going on for, I think, uh, two issues now. And this is the third issue that is also about the wood run. And it's Hunter and Zoe are trying to find these flags, and that's pretty much what the wood run's all about in this issue. And again, like I said, we ha we find out a lot about this murder going on from a year ago, and uh, how it affected Zoe a lot, and just how it might affect her in Morning Glory's Academy, because the end really is a big cliffhanger. Because Hunter in this issue meets this girl, just trying to be nice to him, saying, oh, you know, first wood run, it's kind of hard. And it seems like they have some sort of chemistry. And I guess they're, they are the team they're, that they're going against, so Zoe's not really loving this person. It's like, oh, she's probably giving us wrong information. We have to win this wood run. I guess she's very competitive. So in the end, we find out that Zoe didn't just kill her English teacher. That was kind of self-defense in, um, in a year ago. That was kind of just self-defense. She also kills her best friend, or one of her friends, because her best friend was going to tell, saying, I can't, I can't keep the secret anymore. I, I really need to tell that you killed our English teacher. She's like, no. So we kind of find out, they they didn't like directly say, oh, uh, Zoe killed her. We find out that after they had this discussion that her friend died. So obviously... It's showing that Zoe did kill her. Maybe they'll explain it more in the next issue where we see Zoe. But, uh, yeah, she kills her best friend. And, as in present time, how this affects her is that she kills the person that Hunter was talking to for really no reason. I guess because she was thinking about her killing her friend or whatever. So that really is what shows her, the readers that she killed her best friend. Because as she's thinking about the funeral of her best friend, she kills somebody. So, I don't think in the next issue we will see Zoe, because the thing with Morning Glory is we don't get to see every character at once. We usually get to see two characters, and we focus on those two characters, and I'm fine with that, because I think that makes us learn more about the characters a lot more, and I really like that, actually, about Morning Glories. So, I think next we're going to see Casey, and um, we haven't seen her in, I think, three issues now. We've, like like, heard talk about her and everything. People have, like, said stuff in conversation about her in the issue, but we haven't seen her in a while. So, uh, there was a big cliffhanger with her in, uh, two issues ago. So, I think that's a continuation of the cliffhanger from there. So, that's gonna be next issue. So, I don't know if we're gonna get this cliffhanger, uh, resolved in the next issue or the issue after that. We'll just have to see. But definitely a great cliffhanger in um, making Zoe's character really interesting. I have to say, before uh, issue 7, I was not into Zoe. I didn't really like her. Her and Ike, I still don't like Ike that much. I actually liked the Hunter story a lot and uh, Casey's story a lot. Um, Jade, she's just like, we haven't learned much about her, so uh, still iffy about her character. The only character I really dislike is Ike. But uh, before issue 7, I really did not like Zoe. But I think her, uh, her story is getting very interesting her as a character and her story before Morning Glories. And I think something about Morning Glories that we see is that part of the mystery is not them just being at Morning Glories Academy, it's their past also and why they're all there. It's something that also happened in this issue, I guess because Hunter, we had a little Hunter story in here. Uh, Hunter's big story, big mystery, is that he always sees 813. And that's his big mystery. Why does he always see this number? We don't know. But in, in his main issue, uh, a couple of issues back, uh, in that uh, second story arc, we got to see 
what Hunter, why Hunter's there. And the reason he's there is because he sees 813 all the time. So there's this one scene where he's looking at a clock or whatever, and he asks, uh, Zoe, what do you see on that clock? And he says, oh, what time does this clock say? So it says 813, er, eh, so let's say, um, can't speak today, guys, sorry. Um, 813, why? We should get out of here. Because that means Zoe sees 813 too. So may all these six students see 813. And that's part of the mystery. And I can't wait to see what happens next. The only complaint I have about Morning Glories, I feel like we get all these questions and we're not getting answers as much. I hope we just get that one issue where we're just getting answers galore and we just keep getting answers. Or maybe like a hint of we're, that we're going to get an answer, you know. Because we have been getting so many questions into this mystery, but where are the answers? But, um... For now, I think uh, questions are okay, and we don't need to get answers right away, because that's what really is building up the mystery. But I'm hoping we do get answers soon. It might, it might be a little bit annoying if we don't get answers. You might get a little stressed with the series, and we're not going to get answers uh, soon at least, or at least a couple of answers. But me in the next issue, we will, because Casey's father is going to be in the next issue because of uh, the cliffhanger we saw a couple issues ago. So, I actually really did enjoy this issue. Um, if you want to learn more about the characters, uh, more about the mystery, really, it was a really great issue. Great cliffhanger. And um, I really do love this series. It's one of my favorites. And um, really, I uh, can't wait until the next issue and the next issue and the next issue just to see how uh, this series continues and see how this mystery continues. And hopefully, we do get answers. But... Uh, Definitely picked this issue up. It was one of my favorites of the week. It wasn't my pick of the week, but I do give this five stars, and it was very close to my pick of the week, and uh, definitely try to pick this up. It was a good uh, issue, and uh, if you haven't been following Morning Glories, it's a great series with a great mystery and makes you excited for each issue that comes out. So this was Comic Uno, and I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. In the description below, there will be a link for that. And also, don't forget to follow my other channel, The Rand Situations, on Twitter. And it's just, you know, news about both my channels. You know, comic book news on my Comic Uno uh, Twitter. Uh, comic book reviews that are coming up. Topic videos that are coming up. And in my other Rand Situations Twitter, there will be just uh, news about those videos. So please follow both my Twitters. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I say pick it up, it, and if you haven't followed this series, try to follow it. It's a great series and has a great story. See you guys. It's Kamakuna.